Hi guys, um, I just want to start off with some prayer real quick, so if you'll bow your heads with me. God, right now I stand here humbly before you. I just thank you for this opportunity, Lord. Um, I give you all the glory and all the praise, and I thank, I thank you that right now you're pricking students' hearts and you're getting us ready to be challenged for your, for your glory, Jesus. And I thank you that you're taking us deeper and deeper into your love. In Jesus' name, amen. So to start off, I'm going to read Matthew 22, 37 through 38 in the Passion Translation for those trendy Christians out there. Um, so just to give you a little background information, the Pharisees are currently asking Jesus, what's the most important commandment? And Jesus replies to them and says, love the Lord your God with every passion of your heart, with all the energy of your being, and with every thought that is within you. This is the great and supreme commandment. Um, and just to get right to the point, I just want to start off with asking student body, faculty, staff this question. Do you just love God or are you in love with him? And I know that just for me personally, this gets to a lot of the root issues. God talks to me very savagely. Um, and so when there's moments when I'm struggling with boundaries with my boyfriend, when there's moments where I'm struggling with reading my word in the morning instead of checking Instagram when I first wake up, I think the root issue is, um, am I really in love with Jesus? Um, and the thing is, is we love a lot of things. We, I think sometimes we throw around that word a lot. I love my friend, but I forget to text her, happy birthday, right? I, I, love, I love my major, but I'm not gonna really study. I love pizza, right? But so if you love, you love Instagram, you love pizza, and you love God, what's the difference, right? Where is God um, ranking higher than that? And I think the secret is, you need to truly, truly be in love with him. Um, and just to read this scripture again, it says that you love the Lord God with every passion of your being and with all the energy of yourself. And I know just for me, I could think of about six or seven things I give my energy to other than God, right? I mean, I just always think about this whole Instagram thing because for me, this was a really big struggle, right? If I wake up in the morning and I spend 30 minutes scrolling on my phone um, instead of thanking the creator for the, for the breath that he gave me, I think that really shows our heart and shows like if we really are truly in love with God. And um, just to give some perspective, you know, when you're dating someone, right? When, you know, when your friends first start talking to that guy, you don't see them for like a month, right? Because they're, they're everything, they wanna know everything about that person. They wanna know what makes them tick, what wakes them up in the morning. They wanna know the color of their eyes. And they come back and they tell you how much they're really in love. You know someone's in love. You know, like you can know um, something about someone with what they talk about, what they think about, what every part of their life is dedicated to. And I think sometimes if we look to ourselves, we, can, we shouldn't have to question, but we do have to question, what am I really in love with? Um, and I think... For me, the deciding factor was understanding how much the Lord truly loved me. And so right now, I just wanna take a second to just um, talk about the weight of God's love. That the same God that created the oceans, the same God that created the heavens, the same God who intricately formed you in your mother's womb before you even came out of it, the same God who gave you your passions, the same God who gave you all of your desires, he longs for you. He longs for your time. He longs for all of your energy. This is what should motivate us to wake up in the morning and want to know everything there is to know about him and our word. This is the truth that should motivate us to say, Lord, you can have every part of me. This should motivate us to really want to fight the depression. This should motivate us to really want to get our boundaries right with our significant other because we want to honor God with everything we have because we're in love with him. Because we're really in love with our creator. Um, and I'm not saying this to condemn, but I'm saying that I think that if we really, really want to do things for God, that there has to be a shift in our heart posture for him. There has to be a shift in the way that we approach him when we wake up. And I think that's, that's the bottom line for anything is do you really, 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 really love him? Do you, are you in love with him? And it's something that you can really sort out with God, right? But it's, it's, I think it's just the bottom line. Jesus, am I in love with you?
And the more time you spend with him, the more time you're, you're bound to fall in love with him, right? The more time you really seek his face, it's impossible to not fall in love with eyes that are blazing with fire for you. And so, or you, I just wanna leave you with this question. Do you just love God? Or are you really in love with him? Thank you.